What is going on guys welcome to the 7th video tutorial of racing game development in visual studio. In this video we will add a score in the game and we will add replay button. So let's get started. So first we will create an integer uh, score. And we will add a score test level. Change the name. Change the font size and color. I will set the text score 0 at first and it will increase later. Yeah. And first the score should be 0. Later on it should increase. Okay, when the enemy car will go beyond the game, then the score should be increased by 1. So we will display the score like this score text dot test is equal to score and concatenate the integer. We will do this for all three cars so that any of the car if go beyond the game the score should be increased. Let's check it. Yeah, it's working. Now we will add a, a replay button. When the game is over, the replay button should be displayed and when we click on the replay button, the game should restart. So add a button from toolbox. Increase the size you want and set the color you want. I'll set this. Yeah, it looks good. Set the visible to false. So it should display only when the game ends. Double click the replay button to open the method. And when the replay button is clicked, the score should set to 0 and all the controls should be cleared and the game should restart. So to clear the controls write this. Let's check it out, either it works or not. When the game is over, the replay button is displayed. That's all for this video. In next tutorial, we will uh, increase the speed according to the score. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video.